that last game, we really kind of put all the pieces together. We threw the ball really well. We finally got the bats going a little bit. Um, and I think it's something that, that Coach Stamberg, he's really preached to us that there's going to be a lot of adversity throughout the season. Um, unfortunately, it did come. I mean, it's been coming. I think we're in a really good place right now. You know, our, uh, our head space is probably about as good as it's ever been, especially this year. I think we're going to we're really we're going to be confident headed into the New Mexico Highlands series. And I've, I've got confidence in every single one of our players. So I'm, I'm excited for this weekend. Uh, I really wasn't too, like, displeased with the execution that we were doing on the mound. Um, flat out, Adams executed what their strong suits were. So uh, they knew what they wanted to do. And if they got that opportunity, boy, they assassinated it. So um, that was the message to our group is, you know, that's a very similar talented group. And we just got out executed at what we want to do compared to what they want to do. So um, all of our on-field work has been geared towards, you know what this situation is going to give you. Now go execute at a higher clip, and we're not gonna we're not gonna compete in fear of failure. Let's fail forward and uh, you know do do what our skill set and our talent level says we can do. Anyone who's who's seen this this club the the duration of this season has definitely been able to see that when we hit we don't pitch, and when we pitch we don't hit, and it's just it's super frustrating as a player. I mean I'm sure. Stan Bursky and Coach Cox and Forschler also feel the same thing. I mean, it's just, it's been a frustrating year because we haven't put all the pieces together. But I think as, as this group meshes even more and, you know, we get more in tune with each other and we really understand the goals, I think, uh, I think we're going to be very dangerous headed in to hopefully put ourselves in position to play in the RMAC tournament and compete for that uh, RMAC championship. Well, definitely got to be patient and continue to work through it. It's, uh, you know, we, we can't palms it up. We can't run away from it. We, we have to face who we are. Um, the You're right. We haven't put a clean weekend together, you know, in terms of uh, clicking on all cylinders. Um, the, the, the stuff that we saw from the last weekend in terms of what they were throwing at us on the mound, I really feel like we should have been more offensive than we were. And uh, I think that comes from pressing and try not to make mistakes. And, and that's not the, the environment we want to live in. I, I want these guys to fail, but I want them to fail fast and fail forward. And, you know, you dive for a ball and you don't catch it, move on. Let's go. Go pick it up and get the ball back in. Uh, you feel like you're getting a 2 0 fastball and, you know, you yank it foul. Okay, move on. Know what's coming next because college baseball only has a certain set number of variables or outcomes that can happen let's go all in on them and let's just compete like that. And that's, that's always going to be our message to our players. And this group is working their way through it. it it'd be really cool if they do all kind of line up together and execute at the same time, that, that would feel really neat. I mean, if there's nobody on, I'm trying to, I'm trying to be that spark, you know, get something going, just get on first base, hopefully uh, find my way to second somehow so that people behind me can execute and, on the flip side of that, if there are people on, my goal is to, you know, get them to third, get them in. We're not trying to do too much as an offense. We're trying to scratch across one or two runs an inning and really just put ourselves in a position that our pitchers can can hold us to uh, to Ws. And I think that's the biggest part uh, that we we haven't put together yet is we're not executing, um, you know, with a runner on third, less than two outs run around second, no house, whatever it may be. We're, uh, we're getting a little too big. And I think that last game was a really good showing of what we can do when we're more team focused as an offense. You know, I really just try to try to batten down the hatch, hatches for us. You know, we, uh, we have some really, really talented infielders uh, with Ty Lewis, Trey Vasquez, Aiden Welch, Cody Martin. Um, they're all very talented. And, you know, if I if I can do my job over there, pick them up every once in a while and, uh, you know, they make it they make my job pretty easy, you know, but, uh, you know, that's all I try to do is try to pick them up. And uh, if I if they make a mistake, hopefully I can I can be there and make sure that they're uh, confident heading into the next one, because the ball seems to find you when you least expect it, you know.
so Reggie has done more of what we just said there. Um, you know, he felt like in this situation, he was going to get a fastball. So boom, he stayed right through it. And I don't have the chart right in front of me, but I feel like, you know, he led us in barrels over the weekend. It just, he kept hitting the ball hard. His outs were hard. He hit a lot of balls through the middle of the field, which is, we think, where success happens for a hitter. So, you know, we, we want to give him more and more opportunities to be able to do that. And I think he was one of those guys that was trying not to screw up early um, as opposed to just letting his natural talent be what it is inside of our verbiage. And uh, he's ran with it over the last weekend. So really excited to see him continue to move that forward because, you know, as you do, do your process better, we're going to give you more opportunities. So he's definitely going to get that. I mean, if you look at their uh, performance so far, especially when they're at home, they put up some runs, you know, uh, Highlands is a, a fun place to hit, you know, the, uh, the wind tends to blow out. It's kind of a porch. So uh, we just got to put up some runs. I think that's a key. And if our pitchers can live low in the zone, like they have been doing, especially these last couple games, uh, you know, I think we're going to have a, a very good chance to hopefully win a series out there if we can, you know, execute on the offensive side. And uh, our pitchers can also execute and we can take care of the ball. Coach, you know, I've, I've spoken to Coach Hunt multiple times and we actually kind of run a similar, uh, I guess, past to get to where we are now. Uh, we were one of the only RMACs that was shut down uh, after Halloween and, and so was uh, Coach Hunt. So we both kind of hit the ground running and uh, his was a little bit later, obviously, in February than ours was in January, but uh, we, we really didn't know our clubs. You know, we were both kind of in the same uh, same spot. So uh, they're extremely dangerous at home. Uh, it's a shorter field and, and their lineup plays to what they, you know, have at home. So, you know, we're, we're going to have to be better on the mound and we're going to have to defend clean and not give them extra runners in scoring position. So uh, we're going to shake it up on the mound a little bit and uh, run a different rotation out there than what we've done in the past and see if we can't, you know, start to put people more in a comfortable position to go compete and not worry about the environment. So, uh, but yeah, in talking to Coach Hunt, he's just absolutely euphoric to be out on the baseball field. So.